Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Azure Monitor Agent, which is an application installed on client machine or servers to capture logs and get them ingested to Log Analytics Workspace. Since we already know what is Log Analytics Workspace, the next step is to understand how Azure Monitor Agent works and how the data collection happens for Windows and Linux machines. This is the reason why I'm also going to introduce data collection rules in this video. Let's understand the requirement of Azure Monitor Agent and its functionalities with the help of a use case. Imagine a scenario where you want to capture performance and security logs from the client machines or servers of your enterprise and you want all the data to be ingested to Log Analytics Workspace. In this case, you have to install an application which can capture all the data and send it to Workspace. This agent is termed as Azure Monitor Agent. Once the data is ingested, you can use other services like Microsoft Sentinel, performance monitoring available in Azure Monitor, or Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So the purpose of Azure Monitor Agent is to collect logs from guest operating system and get them ingested to Log Analytics Workspace. The OS can be Windows or Linux. These machines can be either client machines or servers. They can exist anywhere, either in Azure or in on-prem environment or in hybrid multi-cloud environments. Now, Azure Monitor Agent is not the only option available. In fact, Azure Monitor Agent was designed to solve the problems which were there with the previous agent known as Microsoft Monitoring Agent or Log Analytics Agent. Now, there were many names associated with this agent and these names were used interchangeably depending upon the implementation. So whenever I use word MMA or log analytics agent in the series, it means I'm referring to the older agent or legacy agent. And whenever I use AMA, it means I'm referring to the new agent, which is Azure monitor agent. The log analytics agent was also used in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint prior to unified client getting introduced for older version of Windows. So MMA was heavily utilized in multiple services, which Microsoft has to offer. But now this agent, this legacy agent is getting deprecated by 31st of August 2024. And you must have a plan for migration to Azure Monitor agent. And I will cover a migration plan in this playlist as well. Okay. Also, whenever you access a workspace, you will get a warning message about the agent getting deprecated. Now let's talk about some of the reasons why you should migrate or use Azure monitor agent or more precisely, what are the benefits of this new agent? Now there were many challenges related to the legacy agent. However, I'm going to cover a couple of them as these are the most important one. The first one was related to enablement of the agent itself. Now, whenever the log analytics agent is installed on a machine, it needs workspace ID and workspace key to be able to communicate with the workspace itself. And you need to make sure that you have methods to protect these credentials, which is basically workspace ID and workspace key. So this is my machine where I have installed log analytics agent and it is connected to the workspace with the help of workspace ID and workspace key. Now, the reason is obvious. The agent has to present its identity before it can ingest data to the workspace. Now, if you navigate to portal.azure.com, and select any of your workspace and then click on agent, you will be able to get workspace ID and workspace key. Now, since this information is available to anyone who can access workspace, it was considered a kind of security concern. The second challenge 
was related to configuration. In terms of Microsoft monitoring agent, the configuration was defined at the workspace. Imagine the same scenario where you have a machine on which you have installed log analytics agent and you have enabled this agent with the help of workspace ID and workspace key. Now, when I say configuration, I specifically mean what type of logs must be collected. In this case, the configuration defined at the workspace will be applied to the agent and the agent will start sending the data. As well as in terms of configuration, which was available on the portal related to the legacy agent, the upper limit was to choose event category and event type. So these three entries are event categories and these three options are event types. Moreover, no real time transformation was available. Now here's the catch. As soon as I will enable another machine, or let's say I will install log analytics agent on one of my other machine and I provide the same workspace ID and workspace key. This second machine will also start sending the same set of logs because this new machine will also receive the same set of configurations. This was one of the biggest challenge related to Microsoft monitoring agent. However, the scenario is completely different when it comes to Azure Monitor Agent. Azure Monitor Agent uses managed identity for authentication. I will cover this part in a lot more detail, but for now, just keep this uh, as a reference point and think about managed identity as an identity type where you don't have to manage credentials. Okay. The second part, which is configuration. This is completely separated into a different entity altogether. And this is called data collection rule, which means that instead of defining what type of logs must be collected at the workspace, we will be creating data collection rule. So now there are three entities which are responsible for end to end data collection. The very first one is Azure monitor agent, which is responsible for data ingestion. Then you have log analytics workspace where exactly the data will be ingested and then you have data collection rule where you will define what type of data must be ingested however data collection rule is not limited to only defining what type of data must be ingested let me explain you this with an example and then things will make a lot more sense okay Imagine you are planning your data collection strategy. The very first question that you should ask or that you should choose to get started with is what type of logs I have to capture? Is it performance? Is it security logs? Or is it a very specific custom requirement that you have? Then is there any real time transformation that I have to apply? Or let's say, is there any possibility of having transformation? For example, let's say there is a specific event type that you want to capture and it has four or five different attributes. Okay. Now, while the data is getting ingested, you see that practically two of the attributes are not required. So then in this case, is there a way I can eliminate or I can remove those two attributes in terms of getting ingested to the workspace? Let me tell you. This kind of customization is available and it can help you save cost beyond your expectations. The last one is where exactly a specific data type must be ingested. For example, let's say there is a machine from which I want to capture performance logs and security logs, but both the logs should be ingested into a different workspace altogether. Now, this use case was referred as multi-homing in MMA or in the older uh, agent or in the legacy agent. However, it was a very big challenge and for Linux machines, it was not even supported. Whereas in AMA, it works so seamlessly that this will be the first thing that you want to implement the moment I will show you this in action. Now, if you have answers for all these three questions, then you know what data collection rule is all about because all this configuration will be done in data collection rule. 
Azure Monitor agent is going to use the configuration that you have defined in DCR to perform data ingestion. So the purpose of data collection rule is to define what type of logs must be collected. Is there any transformation that has to be applied before the data gets ingested and where exactly specific data type logs must be ingested, which in a nutshell means that I can apply a data collection rule to a machine and in that data collection rule, I can define that the logs are performance logs and it should be ingested to let's say workspace A. And if it is security log, that it should be ingested to workspace B. Now this setting in data collection rule is termed as data source, okay? I will be covering each and every option related to data collection rule. But as of now, I'm just trying to create a reference point so that once you see the video of data collection rule, everything should be relatable. Okay, watch this entire series and I can assure you, you will be able to implement this use case and far more complicated scenarios. Now let's talk about the third challenge, which was related to transformation. Okay, and with this challenge, again, I can help you understand how you can save a lot of data ingestion cost. Imagine the same scenario where you have a machine where you have installed uh, the legacy agent or log analytics agent and you want to capture a very specific security event from all the machines, okay? Now this security event has eight different attributes. When you are using log analytics agent, this data will be ingested as it is and practically no transformation can be applied. When it comes to agent, okay? I'm not referring to the transformation which is available at the table instance of log analytics workspace okay i will cover this in a very very much detailed video altogether but as of now again keep this as a reference point no practical transformation was available with mma however the story is completely different again when it comes to azure monitor agent for the same scenario i can have a configuration where i can customize the first attribute to remove couple of letters. What do I mean by this? If I'm using AMA, I can have a configuration where only, let's say VAL as letters should be ingested into the workspace for attribute one, where the actual value was value one. Okay, I can just dump, I mean, I can just eliminate attribute five and attribute six from getting ingested. And for attribute seven, I can add a suffix, which is underscore user. This is the level of customization, which Azure Monitor agent has to offer with the help of data collection rule, because in a nutshell, all these transformation rules will be applicable to data collection rules, okay? And all this is possible because Azure Monitor uses ETL data ingestion pipeline. Now here ETL stands for extract, transform and load. Now from management perspective, again, you have a centralized management because again, data collection rule is an Azure resource, which means you can use portal.azure.com to manage the configuration for your entire enterprise. Now, apart from all these benefits that I have listed, the most important one is the increased throughput capacity of Azure Monitor Agent as compared to Log Analytics Agent. Now, this kind of scenario is moreover related to Sentinel implementation or let's say scenarios where a dedicated machine is acting as a collector and that machine is receiving logs from firewalls or routers or switches, or let's say your IPS appliances, any other uh, security device, or let's say any device which has the capability to generate logs in the form of CEF or syslog, okay? Now, as I've said before, that this is moreover related to Sentinel implementation. But I thought of highlighting it here because I'm creating this playlist so that I can teach you all what is Microsoft Sentinel. I mean, I can create a playlist for Microsoft Sentinel. 
Okay, so this was all about knowing the purpose of Azure Monitor Agent and a kind of introduction to data collection rule. More precisely, what are the benefits of using Azure Monitor Agent, how it is more secure because it does not use Workspace ID, it uses managed identity or why you should use Azure Monitor Agent because it can help you save a lot of cost. Okay, now in the next video, I'm going to talk about data collection rules, end to end, all the options which are available, what is the purpose of each and every setting. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.